In this lesson, we'll take a look at the x-reference and y-reference properties of display objects. The x-reference and y-reference properties allow you to set the point of object translation. More plainly put, x and y-reference define the point where objects will rotate and scale. Let's get started. As was just seen, we'll be implementing objects in orbit around other objects. So we've got here a script that starts out with a very simple solar system display group. The display group is created here at line 7, and then the sun, which is the center of the display group, um, or here the solar system, is on line 9. And finally, we've got the sun being inserted into the solar system at line 11, and here's the result. So the sun is in the top left corner of the screen, and that's because we haven't applied any positioning. And remember that in the Corona SDK, 0, 0 is at the top left in terms of x, y coordinates. So what we need to do is position the sun so that it is in the center of the display. But we won't actually position the sun. Instead, we'll position the entire solar system, which is the group. So underneath the insertion of the sun into the solar system, we'll type solar system dot x equals half of our width and solar system dot y equals half of the height. And so the benefit of this is that we're going to be inserting all of our planetary bodies into the solar system group. So it's more efficient and more logical to position the entire group to the display and to position the bodies to each other. Okay, we'll save it and there we go. The sun is now in the center. Now I will say that these objects aren't going to be to scale. I'll end up putting the earth way too close to the sun. And so if you feel the heat, well, that's why. Okay, so now let's create our earth group because we're going to have a planet with um, a moon. We'll create a group for that planet. So local earth with a capital T E equals display dot new group. And I've got some code ready for the Earth and the Moon display objects. And now we'll insert these display objects into the Earth group. So underneath of solar, actually above solar system, Earth with the capital E, because notice we do have Earth with the lowercase e, insert, then Earth with the lowercase e, new line, Earth with the capital E, insert, moon. And then don't forget that the Earth group needs to be inserted into the solar system. So underneath of this line, solar system, type solar system again, colon, insert, and Earth with a capital E. Save. Let's take a look at what we have. And so now all of the planetary bodies are on top of each other, and the Earth will burn up very quickly if we don't move it. Well, before we move the planetary bodies, we're going to take a look at the rotation of the bodies around the original X and Y reference point, which is at the center of the objects. The point here is to create rotation of the Earth around the Sun and the Moon around the Earth. And to do this, we're going to need to change the Earth and Moon's X reference uh, point. So let's get the Earth rotating first, and then using the Moon as a visual reference point, um, we'll take a look at what it means to change the X reference of the Earth and how we can get it to orbit around the Sun properly. So we'll go back to the script, and at the bottom, we'll create an enter frame listener, runtime, colon add enter frame or add event listener rather then enter frame and we'll create a method called move heavens okay let's create the move heavens method local function move heavens parentheses e end and to get the earth uh, to start rotating We'll deal with the lowercase e, Earth, because we're talking about the planet here, not the group. Rotation equals Earth 
dot rotation plus, and let's get it rotating pretty fast, plus two. Okay, head back to the simulator, and now you can see the Earth is rotating very fast. And of course, it's not really rotating like a planet would, but hopefully by now you have suspended disbelief for this tutorial. So now we're going to start changing the X reference and the Y reference. What will happen is the X reference, or we're going to change the X reference. The X reference is here in the center. As I move it to the left, you'll see that the Earth will start to rotate around this point where my mouse is, but its actual position is still in the center of the screen. So let's try it. Now here, above the uh, solar system positioning, we'll type earth.x reference equals negative 10. So we're moving the x reference 10 pixels to the left. Head to the simulator. And now the x reference point is over here, 10 pixels to the left. So that you can have a better visualization of it, let's move the moon 10 pixels to the left and then focus on the moon as the center point of the um, x rotation or the x reference of the Earth. So moon.x equals negative 10. So now the moon will be centered on top of the x reference point of the Earth. And now that becomes a lot more clear. You can see how the Earth is essentially um, rotating around this reference point. We can move it a little more extreme. So let's say we move it 25 pixels to the left, and we'll move the moon also 25 pixels. And there we go. Just as we would expect, there's rotation around this center point. Um, and the planet perhaps looks like it will go uh, crazy. So now what we want to do is we want to have the planet Earth rotate or orbit, that's a better word for it, around the sun like this. Well, if we keep moving the X reference to the left or to the right, we're going to get the same result, which is essentially the planet will orbit, but not around the center point of the sun. So this is how we're going to get this to happen. What we'll do is, first of all, we'll restore the moon to its uh, place in the center is we're going to set the x reference point of the Earth to a value uh, to the left. Then we're going to set its x value in the opposite direction by the same amount. Earth dot x equals 160. Okay, so the rule here is if you set the x reference in one direction by an amount, you set its x in the other direction by the same amount. This is to create orbiting. Okay, oops, I went the wrong direction. Let's try that again. So, actually, let me set the x first, then the x reference. That's the right order. Now we have proper rotation. So the order did matter in that particular case, and the Earth is now um, orbiting around the sun rather fast. If we want to slow it down, we can go to the move heavens function and instead of plus two for the rotation, we will type plus point, uh, let's say point four. That's much more reasonable. Okay, so right now the X reference is um, negative 160, which is the point from here to here, the center of the display, or the group rather, to the center of the object, and then we set the x opposite of that. Okay, so x to the right by 160, x reference to the left by 160. So let's get the moon to rotate too, and just as we did with the earth, we'll type moon.x, we'll set the x to negative 160, oh sorry, negative 60, and set its x reference the same value in the opposite direction. And let's make it rotate. We'll go to the move heavens function, moon.rotation equals moon.rotation plus 0.02. Actually, let's 
do this. Let's make it go a little bit faster. And we'll use minus so it'll go in the opposite direction. Let's check it out in the simulator. Okay, so it's rotating, but it's rotating around the sun. So that's a bit of a problem because the idea is that the moon would rotate around the earth. Well, that's because we committed a critical error in implementing the um, X reference of the earth. You see, we actually created a group called earth, which consisted of the planet earth and the moon, those two objects. We applied rotation to the planet earth, which was a member of the group we should instead apply rotation to the entire group. This is easy enough to do. We'll go back to the code, and instead of the lowercase e, we'll type the uppercase e, which will move the whole group. And I like to change the order just out of habit so that the group is the last thing that is translated. Now, we see proper rotation of the moon around the Earth. And that's because the moon is within the Earth group and we're moving the entire Earth group. Before, just by moving the individual objects of the Earth group, the Earth group still had a center point here where the sun is. So now that we've moved the entire group, the objects are relative to the group's center point. And so they're rotating properly around the um, sun and around the earth. Let's get the sun rotating because it wouldn't be complete unless we had multi uh, rotation at different values. Sun dot rotation equals sun dot rotation plus 0.1. And we could also get the earth rotating, the planet earth, not the group because we already got that rotating. Earth dot rotation equals earth dot rotation plus 0.05. And so now the Earth group is orbiting around the sun. The Earth planet is rotating or within the group. The moon is orbiting around the Earth and the sun is rotating. And since we applied or since we inserted all of these objects into the group called the solar system, if we move or affect the solar system group, these objects will retain their relative positioning. So now after the initial positioning of the solar system uh, here, let's change its x value. Solar system dot x. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do an animation. Transition to solar system comma, open and close curly brace. Let's say over the course of five seconds, so that's 5,000 milliseconds, we'll change the Y so that it moves upwards until it reaches zero. And now you can see that there's still consistent um, distance between the orbit of the Earth to the Sun and the rotation of the Moon, orbit of the Moon around the Earth. For a small fee, you can download the project files for this tutorial at cheetomosquito.com.